this recording of the Parka Office Hours. Today is December 15th, 2022. Um, today we're going to be going over some changes that have landed in the Parka agent and ones that are coming, as well as um, what has landed in recent versions of Parka and what is coming with that as well. Um, if anyone has anything that they would like to add to the agenda, please do so now or just speak up at the end. So for the Parka agent, uh, the team at Polar Signals is working on BTF support. Um, and they've excitedly started Java support. Um, so hopefully that will be coming down the pipeline soon for the agent to be able to profile Java programs, which would be pretty cool. Um, last time, I think, we announced the dwarf unwinding. Um, but since then, it has significantly improved. I believe that's both in accuracy as well as uh, CPU and memory usages um, for unwinding. So that's pretty exciting. Um, for Parka, we have the 015 release coming next week. Um, we're just waiting on one more improvement with symbolization to land. I believe, Frederick, you're working on that. Is there anything you'd like to mention about that? OK, moving on then. Um, <clears throat> One cool feature that has landed in Parker recently is filter by function is the default search now. Um, and you can do automatic highlighting with a feature flag. Um, I'm going to demo this quick. But big shout out to Manoj for implementing this feature. It's super cool. All right. Hopefully, you all can see my screen. Great. So yeah, to enable the highlighting, you can go into the settings and check this preferences box. Um, and then we can do a quick search here. Great timing for things to be broken. Oh, great. All right. Just kidding. Not happening. <laughs> it literally worked right before this meeting. So also, it was just enough to load the to load the page. Now it doesn't anymore. Great. All right. So. Uh, you'll have to try that one out on your own. Go to demo.parka.dev. Um, hopefully, by the time you're watching this and trying this out, it's working. Um, just great start, great start. Um, the Grafana plugin has been updated to use more efficient flame graph table responses. I think we're seeing some people run into errors with resource exhausted problems um, when using the plugin. So if you update that, you should hopefully see those go away. But uh, please report in our Discord any other problems that you encounter with that. Um, and Parka also was updated to allow for uh, debug data to be uploaded using signed URLs. Um, I believe the gRPC uploads is still supported right now, but now you can do signed URLs as well. And that ends it for today's agenda. Does anyone have anything else they would like to talk about? I just wanted to um, add that because of this last feature um, with signed uploads, the entire like debug info gRPC API changed. Um, so and those were breaking changes. So that means that once we release 0 0.15, we are simultaneously going to release the next um, minor version of Parka Agent, um, and going forward. Only that those versions will be compatible with each other. Um, I mean, of course, from there on, we're we're going to do our best again to maintain forward compatibility and backward compatibility. But there, this is a breaking change that we'll need to upgrade all components for. I think we'll add that in the release notes for both as well, yes. so that it's very explicit about that. Yes. Sounds good. Okay, with that. We'll wrap it up. Short meeting today. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs>